Hey guys, I'm here at 11509 East Palmer Divide, or if, well for me, I was using the Siri Maps app, so it came up as County Road 404 instead of East Palmer Divide. I got a crazy house behind me with 13 beds, 11 baths, and a 5 car garage, uh, courtesy of, here, check this out, courtesy of Joan Pratt uh, over at Remax. It's on 35 acres in Larkspur. Um, or at least it comes up as Larkspur. Um, crazy, crazy house. It's got 100,000 square feet. It's a million, $988,611. Uh, it's been on the market for 110, which for a property such as this, that's, or 110 days I should say, which for a property like this, that's not so crazy. But with the amount of bedrooms in here, it's insane, and it's got a five-car garage, and I love the master suite, and it's got a ton of space for entertainment. Let's check her out, huh? Okay, so here's the entry. Cool spiral staircase, well, half spiral, I should say, with a really nice chandelier. Tile entry. So let's go ahead and check out this part first, huh? How crazy is that? And then... Here's the kitchen. It's an eat-in kitchen because it's got a little dining space. Two sinks. Three sinks, actually. Insane. Just insane. Um, it's got a very robust fire system as well, which personally, I really like that. Here's off of the garage. And here is the garage. Again, it's a five-car garage. Um, somewhat differentiated. So I'm going to take a walk through. Again, over 11,000 square feet on this baby. So, giant. Very robust fire system, very robust electric or, um, security system as well, which I like. I like that. Giant fridge. That's like an industrial size fridge and freezer. Okay. Let's keep on going. I know one thing I want to show off though. Let's go ahead and check out this walkout to the to this huge deck. Again, this is situated on 35 acres, which is gigantic. It's large enough to have the water rights passed off, and so it does have a well permit. You can see the uh, Pikes Peak from here. Gorgeous views. Walk right on down into the yard. And then walks right back in to the living room. So it's got a really great layout. I'm loving the exposed wood beams and stuff like that. Um, it was built in 1995, so it's pretty well updated for the year. It's got a lot of timeless class plastics such as wood flooring. Uh, I'm gonna mention it again, the robust fire system. I've never honestly seen anybody take their fire security this seriously and I'm really happy to see it. Updated lighting fixtures, crown molding, wainscoting, um, premium carpeting. All right, most of the bedrooms have their own attached bath. And a lot of them have numbers on the doors, which I found extremely charming. Plus an attached bath on bedroom number two. Bedroom three. And attached bath. Bedroom four. With attached bath. 
bedroom five with attached pad. Bedroom six. Don't mind the chirping. Bedroom seven with attached bath. Getting lost. Yeah. Bedroom eight with, you guessed it, attached bath. Get my cardio in, folks. Bath. Attached to bedroom nine. Bedroom 10. And then we are back over the entryway again. I know you're saying, but Jesse, aren't there supposed to be more bedrooms? Indeed. Indeed there are. So over here, I, okay, here's one common bath, pretty big size. Before I step through this threshold, I've never been more impressed, by the way, by a master suite. That said, so here's one room. They used to be called nursery suites. But, so, okay, first of all, yeah, this is a dedicated kitchenette. right off of the master bed with its own wood-burning fireplace. And we'll check that deck out in just a second. But we also have master suite, en suite, right? Five-piece bath, big closet, and then here's that attached extra space, we should call it. And let's go ahead and check out, again, this is all the, in the master suite. It has its own threshold. Remember where I paused? So this is still the master suite. Um, check out this gorgeous little covered patio right off of the master suite. It's got a screen on the side of the driveway so you can have a bit more privacy. And then it just walks right on down you can see your solar system. This house does have a solar system for heating and stuff like that. But it walks right on down where you can see trees and benches and oh, just beautiful. You got well access right there. Just, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous house. Um, siding is what feels to be aluminum. So it's not vinyl, it's aluminum, which is even better. That'll last probably longer than the house. And I'm not done yet, by the way. There's a little bit more to show off. So it's got a very impressive full basement. So it just walks right out. Let's go in this like room right here. So this is a really cool entertaining space. It's got its own um, sink. Uh, this isn't it though, folks. There's, there's so much more. Insane. And then you have this gigantic room here with common bath. Got another entertaining room over here that they're using for billiards. And then, as you can see, this door says offices. So there's one office with a walkout, two offices, and three offices. This one's got a closet, so you could use this potentially as a bedroom. Alright, so folks, I gotta say, I'm, I'm impressed by this house, so if you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below on whatever social media you're watching this on. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. Or you can follow the link provided normally in the comments. Um, or you can call or text me on my own personal cell phone number, 801-391-5568.
Again, my name is Jesse Campbell, realtor with the agency, certified hyperlocal real estate specialist. Thanks.